G'day, Rachel here from Pinup and Nostalgia Image Creations. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video, all about achievable pinup poses for all body types. Throughout the video, there are three different ladies demonstrating each type of pinup pose that I'm recommending for you. I really hope that this shows you no matter what size, shape, or condition your body has, a perfect pinup pose is definitely achievable. I'll throw in a few hints and tips along the way, but basically what we'll be aiming for is an hourglass shape or an S shape, some type of curve in your body. This can be achieved through different things. Uh, the first and easiest way to achieve that is by using a lovely wide circle skirt and a big poofy petticoat. And there are also certain ways that you can move your body to go ahead and accentuate those curves. A few other tips I always instill in my pinup models is to have excellent posture as well as you can. So you might imagine a string coming from the top of your head and pulling your body up and straight. Another is to puff your chest out, suck your tummy in and push your bottom out. Another thing I generally have the ladies aim for is a more feminine stance. So for example, putting your knees together and feet together in most poses, having your elbows tucked in instead of winged out and also having a, a side-on stance to the camera to accentuate those curves. I also like to tell my ladies to pick a favourite feature on their body and go ahead and flaunt it. So myself, for example, because I'm really into wearing vintage undergarments, I would like to go ahead and accentuate my chest. As you can see, my bust has that pointy look to it, which I quite like. So that's something I might ask the photographer to go ahead and focus on. Another good tip is if you're doing a particular pose and it feels like you're exaggerating it a little bit too far, it usually means that you've got it right. So it might feel a little uncomfortable and awkward, but that usually comes across well on camera. Another favorite tip of mine is to touch without touching. So for example, if I were to put my hand to my waist, you can see that it creates an indent and it looks like there's a bit of effort going into it. However, if I relax my stance, and remove my hand so it's only just touching the end and not actually leaning into my waist. It looks a little bit more delicate and helps you keep your poise as you're not so tempted to relax into it. And my last favorite tip to give my clients is to pick something you love or am passionate about and include that in your photo shoot somehow. So for example, if you're a music lover, you might do a photo shoot with some records or a record player if you're a car lover, like myself, you might go ahead and do a photo shoot with a classic car. Whatever it is, if it's something you're passionate about, it will relax you, make you feel more at ease, and that will translate really well on the camera. So without further ado, let's get going with the shoot. Here we have the beautiful Kerry Lee, about to show us the first of the five poses, which is the over the shoulder look. We're starting this pose by having Kerry face away from the camera placing her feet together and her right knee bent forward. We're then going to use the opposite hand to the bent knee, place it on her hip to draw attention to the waist. And here's where we implement the touch without touching trick. Now I'm going to have Kerry Lee drop her left shoulder down and back and face her left elbow further towards the camera. This pose accentuates Kerry's bust and bottom and I think you'll agree she looks stunningly curvaceous. Now I'm going to introduce Sarah who was a gorgeous mid to plus size and is also about halfway through a pregnancy. Now I'm going to position Sarah exactly the same as Kerry Lee, facing away from the camera, feet together with one knee bent, opposite hand on hip, touching without touching of course, dropping the shoulder down and back and elbow towards the camera. And now introducing our final model Casey. If Snow White came to life, this is exactly what she'd look like. And I'm just putting Casey through the same steps as the others. And now having all three girls look out the window about halfway between them and the camera. Here's the perfect shot. Don't they look gorgeous? The last thing I wanted to capture about this pose is the end of a movement as this can make for a really candid and natural picture. Please excuse Mr. Toby, he can't help when nature calls. I had the girls start with the same position facing out the window and with a countdown from three had them all ending up looking into the camera with a big smile. 
The next pose is more of a formal style that you might do with your family or some close friends. Kerry Lee is going to be the centre of our photo and once Toby's finished getting pat, I'll have her bring her feet and knees together, lift her hem to show a little bit of that pretty petticoat, place her arm across her waist to draw attention to the area and have her raise her chin to show off and accentuate her strong jawline. Now we'll have Casey and Sarah stand behind Kerry Lee and I'm just going to reiterate a few tips touching without touching, chest out, tummy in, bum out and elbows tucked back neatly. We got a genuinely candid bonus shot of the girls having a giggle. A great reminder that your joy will show through the lens so have fun on your shoot. Now it's time for a serious shot. Think three grieving widows, not suspicious in the least. I'm going to introduce some props next so we'll keep the girls in their same positions and bring them up one by one for close-ups. One of the many great things about using props, especially for beginners, is that they can ease your nerves by creating focus or attention on the object rather than on yourself. If you're able to use a prop that gives you joy, it'll help to bring an extra element of authenticity to your photographs. While we're watching the girls have some fun with their props, here are a few tips to remember. Having direct eye contact with the camera will ensure your face won't be blocked. The same goes for anything you'd like shown in your picture. So I had Kerry Lee position her arm a little to the side so that her bust was still showing. Now onto Casey with her teacup. This is another great example, along with the box brownie camera, of using your props realistically so that the photo comes across as believably as possible. She's being really careful not to spill her imaginary tea. Now is a good time for an outfit change. The girls had a moment to refresh and have a little break. A new outfit can help keep your enthusiasm up, as displayed here by Sarah's hilarious dance. For this shot, we're keeping the prop element, but moving on to the candid or action shot, which we had a quick intro to at the beginning of the video. I had the girls position their hats behind the swoop so as not to damage them. We then moved on to a classic some of you might know as the bend and snap, but a slower, more poised version. You'll notice that the girls are all following our posture and positioning tips, and all three look insanely cute doing this pose. We're going to move on to the bend and snap now, so I'm going to have the girls casually drop their hats, then bend down and pick them up. The trick to getting a good action shot here is to exaggerate and slow down your movements. So the bending knee is going to bend further out than what it would necessarily need to. The ladies' derrieres are going to be pushed out as far back behind them as possible and then they will lead with their busts. What a gorgeous bunch of country girls. And the lucky last shot we're going to do is the classic legs in the air but a friendlier version to suit all bodies. Instead of the girls having to hold their own bodies up while I take the shot, I'm going to have them lean against this white wall so you still get the same cool effect but with a lot less effort and a lot less stress. Perfect for those of us who have struggles with mobility and strength. I'm adjusting the girls' skirts so no rudy bits are peeking through, adjusting their hand positions to draw attention to the legs and the waist, and fanning the hair out beneath them to show off those beautiful sets. The ladies are also bending one knee and keeping that bent knee pointed inwards. Here's how the shot turned out. Don't they look absolutely beautiful? Will you look at this angel scrubbing our scuff marks off the wall? I told you she's Snow White. I'd like to thank my three wonderful models, Kerry Lee, Sarah and Casey, for doing an awesome job in depicting how they can show their bodies off in the most flattering way for a pinup or vintage photo shoot. Thanks so much girls, I really appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've gained some knowledge or entertainment from the video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so as I'd love to show you all of my vintage inspired content. See you in the next one.